Good evening folks, um, tonight's video is going to be a look at this dual wattage soldering gun which I recently purchased from eBay. Now I don't like soldering guns, uh, in fact the last time I used one was probably over 20 years ago. Um, I was round at my, my old school friend Kevin's house and we were tinkering around with electronics, um, you know, mucking about, putting electrolytic capacitors on, transformers the wrong way and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, we were doing a bit of soldering and he had a big uh, 60 watt well at iron and I remember the label on the side it said you know something like 20 seconds on 60 seconds off you know essentially don't have it on all the time and i blatantly ignored that and burned it out and kevin wasn't happy and i don't think his mum and dad were uh, but that's another story um i don't think really uh, realistically uh, any sort of hobbyist really needs a soldering gun um they're massively overpowered and you know we, we just don't have the need for them in, in the in the hobbyist workshop um, your modern digital soldering stations, um, you know, those go up to 60 watts. If you do need to do something about heavy duty, those are more than capable. Um, but this was relatively cheap. I paid just £6.50 for it. And it does come with a solder feed, which was this a thing that drew my attention to it. Um, this, as you can see, is branded Maplin. Um, if you don't know who Maplin are, they're a UK-based electronics uh, shop. And they'll sell you tools and components at hugely massively marked up prices i personally don't get near them um but that's another story um but um as i said i paid six pounds fifty for this and i uh, i thought i'd check and see how much the actual retail price of this is on maplin and it's now a discontinued product uh, indeed uh, they were selling this in the clearance for 97 pence <laughs> um, so if you do have a Maplins uh, near you it might be worth just popping in and seeing if they've got some in one of those bargain baskets or something like that um, but yeah I thought we'd take a look at it tonight see if it, it's any good um, the fact that we can drop it down to 30 watt means it, it might be usable for the hobbies it's not going to cause any uh, you know, and, sorry, not going to cause too much damage. It's not going to burn holes through PCBs and such like. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at it and, and see if it how it works. Um, dual temperature, as I've already mentioned, uh, one trigger, uh, one handed trigger action for feeding the solder. Ideal for continuous jobs on production lines, industry use, or the electronic hobbyist. Um, okay, dokes. Um, we've got our specifications here. Uh, I'm not going to read through it all, but um, I thought there's one bit on here. Suitable for solder wire sizes from 3 to 8 millimeter. Now, I don't know what they mean by that, but possibly might get 3 millimeter solder, but 8 millimeter solder? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. 10 minutes warm up time. Um, there's nothing else really to say about it. Um, so we'll open it up and have a look inside. Now, as I said, this is discontinued from Maplin. However, it does seem to be a, a generic Chinese uh, unit, so you can get it uh, other places online. Um, I think the cheapest I saw was about twelve ninety nine, and there's certainly sellers on eBay selling you an equivalent version for that price. So we get um, our instructions. Um, won't go into it too much. There's nothing really um, interesting, I don't think. It does say here you can press the trigger to control the flowing capacity of soldering wire from 3mm to 8mm in length at maximum. So it probably just means the 3 to 8mm means if you pull it a little bit, only 3 will come down. But then if you if you pull it in fully, then 8mm of solder will come out. Um, yeah. I did, sorry, something I didn't tell you about on the back was some of the suitabilities they give you for. Great for use on applications such as water pipes, lighting... Plumbing, I thought water pipes would be encompassed by plumbing, but never mind. And window positioning. What is window positioning? Are they meaning, you know, uh, lead uh, stained glass windows where there's lead on it? I'm not sure. It just seems a bit... It's almost as if they've taken the generic Chinese model and, and basically transferred it directly onto their Maplin branded box. Right, enough uh, rambling on about that. What have we got in here? We've got... A spool with some solder on it. That looks like one millimeter, or maybe one point two millimeter solder. And let's get the the main event out. Okay, so we've got a little piece of rubber protecting the tip, which is broken in half. Never mind. Um, now the unit itself is nineteen nineteen sixties or nineteen seventies Bakelite style. Um, looks like some sort of 
you know, I see, 60s or 70s sci-fi blaster gun, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, fairly basic, uh, retro almost uh, design. Um, it's actually quite pleasant to hold. And we can hear that ratchet function there, which is going to pull in the solder. Um, so we've got a high-low switch. Uh, we'll pop it on low. Uh, and in fact, I think we'll probably just... Um, plug it in if it's said it's going to take 10 minutes to warm up we might as well plug it in before we go any further if i can find my snips okay so we'll pop that and start warming up um right so um clearly our solder goes in here um and come is sort of dispensed out this nozzle here onto the tip now it is a big chunky tip um, but it does have quite a fine point on it, so it might be okay for sort of smaller, more intricate work. Um, we've got some sort of adjustment knob here. In fact, no it's not. That looks like it's the... Yeah, that's going to hold on the, the spool. Which we'll do now, we'll just attach that on. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So we'll try and uh, put the solder in it. Now it does look like potentially the person that sold me has actually tried that because you can see sort of, um, sort of teeth marks on the on the solder. I don't know if that's coming out in the camera. Uh, focus. Yeah, you can probably just see down there there's sort of teeth marks where the uh, probably the ratchet system. It has, has, has pulled this through. So somebody's obviously tested this before selling it on as new. But, you know, it, it clearly hasn't been used. Uh, the tip's nice and, and white. So we'll pull this through and we'll pop it in here. And hopefully, if we just push this button, it should, uh, it should pull it in. it doesn't so if you just bear with me I shall pause the video and uh, see if we can rectify this bear with me okay welcome back sorry about that yeah um, I found the key is you need to straighten the solder out as straight as you can uh, depress this red button and then feed it in and it goes all the way in until you see it just protruding out the end there and that's us ready to go so um not sure if this is up to temperature yet. It's only been on five a minute, five minutes or so. So I'll just uh, start pulling the trigger and see uh, if it works. So the answer to that would be no. Um, I think maybe the, the solder's just um, because it's uh, the way it's been fed, and I don't think it's come out straight. So we'll, we'll try that again. And it is resting on the side. Yeah, that seems to be okay. So it is feeding solder onto the, the tip, as you can see there. And blow that horrible smoke away. And um, we'll give it a go. Uh, now, what I'm going to use is just this um, little Christmas tree PCB. If you recall, I got sent a spare one because the, the old uh, model that they sent, uh, the old PCB wasn't the correct one, so the seller sold me. Sorry, the seller sent me uh, a couple of spare boards, so we'll just use this to practice on. So I've just got some resistors on here, uh, and let's see how it works. So just put the tip on there. Feed the solder in. And it just it just seems to be pulling up on the tip. Um, let's try another one here. give it a wiggle it, it does seem to go on um, I think this may be lead free solder I'm not sure um, but that does seem to be a, a, an effective um, technique is to to put the solder sorry put the, the tip of the iron right basically in the in the hole next to the component lead uh, put a little amount of solder on there and give it a wiggle and it, it seems to go in but as you can see it's it's quite spiky in terms of uh, the, the finished joint it's really not very clean at all and the fact and in, in using that technique you can see I've just lifted that pad off the the surface of the PCB 
Mm, yeah, not not convinced. Now, let's see, it might be because it's lead-free soda. Um, I'm not sure. We could try it with uh, leaded soda and see if that makes a difference. Um, but uh, in terms of use for, for rapid, you know, building of, uh, you know, batches of PCBs or something like that, I don't think it's really effective at all. Um, really not not that nice a job. Yeah, I mean the the tip just seems to be getting stuck in the in the pads and yeah, it's not it's not very pretty. So I think we'll probably leave it at that. I'm not going to labour on this too long. Um, it's I suppose there's a soldering iron. Um, you could probably use it. I mean, if you wanted to, uh, just use you know solder and use it you know in a, a conventional manner it might work okay uh, obviously the tip isn't ideal because it's got that angle on it um but it's i mean the only thing going for it is it, it's really cheap um but i say you're going to pay about 10 or 12 pounds for this from ebay and um, you might be get uh, lucky and get it in maplin for a quid or something but um honest opinion i personally wouldn't bother um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, the only thing I'll say before I go is that the competition time video is still open. I'll link to that just here. Um, you can still enter that. Um, nearly a thousand subscribers. Uh, once I get to a thousand subscribers, I will um, pick somebody at random and send you a little prize. Well, a, a bigger prize for the thousand subscribers. Um, so yeah, um, Please enter if you wish to do so. Just put I want to win in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick a winner. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, if you found it useful, if it's helped you make your uh, decision on buying this, if you've seen it and think, oh, that looks a bit fancy. Um, if you thought it was a rubbish video, give me the thumbs down. And as always, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves and as always, all the best.